So guys, today we had a little podcast with a couple of other YouTubers. As always, feel free to drop a like on the video if you want to see more later on in the future. We're going to try and mix it up, get in different GTA 5 YouTubers and all of that sort of good stuff. Get everyone's contribution in and involve the whole community in these kind of podcasts. So yeah, smash that like button. Let's try and push for something well over 2,000 likes. Also, if you are new, subscribe and check out everyone. Their links will be in the description down below. My name is iCrazyTeddy and I'll leave you guys with the podcast. Enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Dumbest Live. In today's video, I have a awesome podcast that I'm going to be doing. I got a bunch of the top GTA 5 YouTubes together. You guys said that you wanted me to do longer videos, so that's what I'm going to do. And the first person I have is James Gary. Let's get right into the podcast. We have Two Dynamic. Hello. We have I Crazy Teddy. 420 Blaze It. <laughs> we oh have my. No Vera. <laughs> What's going on? And then we have Cody Brown. What is good on, guys? I'm here. Cody Brown. That was a little bit loud. No, you're there. That was so <laughs> whack, but let's get straight into the DLC. <laughs> I was so eight. I was so eight. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about... Okay, there's been a lot of drama, I guess, going on. A lot of people don't believe that the jetpack thing is real, so we're going to get into that. And the first person I want to ask is, Teddy, do you believe that the jetpack is real? Um, I'm not sure if I believe it's real, but it potentially could be coming in soon. I mean, from what we've seen right now, there's not enough proof to suggest that it's in GTA Online. But we've seen, you know, with the coding and everything, that Rockstar can add anything at any moment in time. Since we've seen it already I think in there. The, this is the whole, my take on the whole situation. Why would Rockstar add some new code for the jetpack into the game with patch 1.5 if there wasn't going to be doing something with the jetpack already? Yeah. Like maybe the RC in the future or something. They wouldn't add it into the game. It's not like Rockstar trolling everybody by putting some secret code in the game. Well, I honestly think that it has to be something. I just think Rockstar is not going to waste their time trying to troll YouTubers. I saw someone in my comment section. They were like, I think Rockstar is trying to troll you YouTubers that post this information, leak DLC stuff. I'm like, Rockstar is not going to waste their time and troll us. Why would they do that? Why would they waste their time and money to do that? Yeah, you I don't know. That, James? I don't, I don't think they would do it as like a DLC though, personally. I think that if there was a jetpack, maybe there is. Maybe we haven't found it yet, but for, I don't think it would be in GTA Online. I think it would be somewhere in single player. And uh, I don't know. I think they do it more San Andreas style, so to say. Yeah. That's a good point, Aiden. single player. Uh, Cody, would you like to add anything? You know, I think that the jetpack is definitely real. Uh, it's been uh, something that has been debated about <laughs> since the start of the game. And uh, it's, it's, it's crazy to think that uh, something this big is uh, just chilling, possibly in the game, possibly not. You never know. I love the person that's typing in the background, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy to think about. It's probably coming the next update. It's in the it's in the code. So, I mean, hey, if it's in there, it's probably coming just like the other stuff that was leaked last time with the cars and stuff. So, yeah. I think it's going to come at some point. Like you guys are saying, it's possibly going to be something that's in single player. Or could maybe it's going to be a mission or some kind of race that we're going to do. Maybe we're going to do some jetpack racing. You never know. Um, would you guys like to move on to the scheme that they are talking about in the uh, code as well? Anyone want to talk uh, about that? I think... I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I personally... Oh, go ahead, James. I can't... I don't know, I just can't see them doing skiing DLC that just seems so far-fetched. Uh, I mean, my kind of idea on that, though, is that we do know that it's possible to get in, uh, to uh, North Yankton. It's been, you know, obviously we've all done the glitch, we've all uploaded to our YouTube channels. So it is physically possible to get to North Yankton. I believe that it's a little bit far-fetched to go to Liberty City or Vice City, as a lot of people have done. Because, of course, it's just way too big, way out of the picture, you know. You can't make an entire city... But it, it's there. It, we can do it. Um, I mean, of course, they're going to have to add a little bit more boundaries, more textures, stuff like that. Nonetheless, though, it, it can be in there. Um, whether or not we're going to be able to just fly from there. Because, I mean, you do know when you go to the North Yankton, I believe it says that um, it's in the Midwestern range. Um, so I'm pretty sure North Yankton is kind of featured in Colorado. So, of course, you can't just fly from Los Angeles to Colorado in the matter of, like, Let's say like what five minutes. So I mean, either you'd have to go down to Los An or Los Santos Airport and fly there. But I mean, a reasonable activity would be skiing to North Yankton. Um, I mean, if they do add any sort of like, uh, like addition, I guess. I think it's a good point, but like I said, I think it goes back to my opinion with the jetpack. Maybe there's going to be some ski races we're going to do. Maybe it's not going to be DLC. Maybe it's just going to be races. So uh, let's move that on. Content. 
Yeah, yeah. So let's move on to the next thing, and that's going to be a DLC wish list. Would anyone would like to start first? Um, basically, what I think would be a great idea for DLC, and I did start a series on my channel, and then I went away for a little bit, so I went inactive with that. But I had a series on my channel, uh, channel called GTA 5 Ideas, and the first episode, which is, I believe, the only episode that I actually ended up doing, is Crew Hangouts, and that'd be for you and your crew to have some sort of, like, base or thing because we do have the apartments and we have garages and stuff like that but to get like a little bit bigger of a thing uh, more as if maybe like the crew can like chip in and customize the base um, and have stuff definitely be really expensive because then it could definitely lead to more cooperation and more activity within a crew uh, maybe like a crew bank vault or something that everyone could uh, add money in and people could withdraw if they don't have a lot of money. Um, that'd definitely be some sort of cool idea that we could have. Like a chip in, right? Like everyone yeah. just puts money inside of one big bank inside the crew and any if anyone needs money, they can take out of that. That's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? I would say it's kind of already been leaked, I guess. I don't, we don't know if it's true though, but could the, obviously the whole casino is gambling and maybe even pink sip racing. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I've I think, got one. What's that, Teddy? Um, you guys might know Trevcrafter. Trev Tutorials actually made a mod a couple of months ago, which was probably featured on everyone's channel. It was actually the Zombies mod, if you guys oh, know yeah, that. Yeah, that was the best. And dude. that, yeah, that's that good. yeah, that was like one of the best things I've ever seen in GTA 5. And to think that it was made by a content creator, someone like at the age of 17 who's sitting at home. What does that mean for Rockstar? It means that the like the possibilities are endless if they've got like a whole crew going. Why not just add this simple mod which is created by a content creator? Well, I mean, it's really not that hard to do though because it's simply just a reskin of people and then putting them on aggro mode fully. So, I mean, it's not really not that hard, but I definitely see where you're coming from. Definitely, if there was a zombie DLC, I swear to God, I would just lose it. That'd be the You worst. guys are going to hate me. I talked about this earlier. I want to see an airplane DLC. <laughs> Dude, what? I like... I like... Why? I like Hold on, I like flying the airplanes. Like, I totally get in, like, the jumbo jets and single player and fly them around for a while. It's fun, dude. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what? I, I'm talking about, like, I want to get, like, all different types of airplanes. Like, big planes and small pl I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the best plane in GTA right now? Uh, the probably the plane. newest one, right? The, yeah, the, the Vestra. Vestra. I have actually, I have yet to fly the Vestra. I, I, oh, it's so smooth just, and fast, man. It is great. GTA 5 that, YouTuber does not fly the Vestra. Yeah, well, oh, Dom, that. Dom likes that on it drama smooth, so that's all right. <laughs> I love the Vestra, man. You said it's uh, smooth? No, no, it's fast <laughs> and smooth, man. Yeah, <laughs> My is. typical GTA 5 day is <laughs> like you go down to the Los Santos airport, you hijack uh, some sort of helicopter plane, then you drive to the military base, and you hijack a military jet, and you crash it, and then you just get off. That's, what, that's basically my typical day on GTA oh. 5, so... My um, uh, my wish list would definitely be like maybe street racing wish list, the neon lights, and maybe hydraulics and things like that. I would love to have that as DLC. Nos, mate. Yeah, and Nos, yeah, Nos as well. That'd be great. Definitely Nos. That'd be really cool. Um, another thing that I really thought would be a awesome idea though is to kind of switch the tables between G because GTA Five is always known as being the robber or being like the serial killer i don't know exactly what you want to call it um but t t definitely like switch cop the mode. table and maybe you could become like a cop yeah definitely like a police uh maybe like a corrupt yeah cop. Be so i cool. like that like i mean definitely. in gta 4 you can do the thing where you go on the police computer and find all the most wanted criminals and like gta 5 has gta 4's like police computer sitting in the game files but they never did any missions like that like i always like doing those they're definitely really cool yeah exactly i've got a really good one um, it's actually something that a uh, typical gamer tweeted out the other day. It was about cage oh, fighting coming back from sick. the uh, GTA 4. Yeah. That imagine playing that with your friends that and just being cool. in a cage. Yeah, as well, pets. I think know. pets would be a good yeah, addition. Maybe. I okay. always oh, yeah, kill chop the, the dog. Uh, that leads me to another question. <laughs> do you guys <laughs> dog. do you guys believe that pet DLC is going to come out? No. Stupid. No, uh, probably not. Stupid DLC. Yeah, definitely. Man. We they, saw they many pet skins. We saw the wolf. I mean, I don't know. I'd rather have Heist than a dumb, like, dog DLC. Something useful, you mean? You know, I mean, I'd rather have Rockstar put their time towards something more gameplay-wise than a pet. You know, I don't... I'd... Yeah. But I'm, like, I'm pretty sure they've made a lot of things. Speed, maybe not speed, but, you know, maybe some stats with a dog. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Train right. up your dog. The same Pokemon. 
Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be right. a great addition to GTA, though. All right, the next yeah, thing yeah, I want to get into is Watch Dogs. Do you guys plan on uploading Watch Dogs to your channel? Because I definitely think I'm going to do that on my main channel. What about you, James? Oh, hey, yeah. everybody. How's it going? My name is James. Here with your daily GTA 5 and gaming tips, news, info, and more. And my answer to that question, Dom, is yeah. That's why I started saying gaming instead of just GTA in preparation to upload some other games. And uh, Watch Dogs is on that list. What about you, Declan? Mm. I think I'm gonna. I think I might try and do some gameplay videos, like let's plays and stuff. Aside from that, I'll be doing any Easter eggs and other little things. And Watch Dogs, most definitely. Teddy. Um, I think I probably most likely will. Obviously, GTA. They said they will be rolling out updates all throughout the spring, but um, I mean, there's only certain th ha certain amount that they can do to keep all their viewers in the actual GTA community. And I'm pretty sure most of them are going to be moving over to Watch Dogs since it is quite hyped. And it's already been delayed once, so pretty sure they've hyped it up enough and it's going to have a nice launch to it. No, Vera. Um, Watch Dogs, I definitely plan on uploading it. I already uploaded one video on it, but it's like, I I'm waiting for it to get a little bit more hype. Um, because a lot of people are interested in it, but there's really not much about it. Um, I did follow one of the developers on Twitter, though. And it, there's really not much more to it right now besides a few trailers and stuff like that. Um, but definitely, I think the thing with GTA though, and we all have to face the facts here, is that it's dying. There's Rockstar refuses to get out anything. It's not dying. It's it's, it's not dying. It's, it's definitely dying. slowing down. I will say this. If, let me it's let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. If yes, Rockstar it is. Hold on. <sighs> okay. If Rockstar releases DLC every month, GTA can live on forever. Not even that though. If it, it comes like, on next gen of PC, it will live on forever. Yeah, well, definitely like that though. But I'm talking about right now at this current moment. Uh, you can definitely feel the views are decreasing, the subscribers are coming in. Not less. me. So what are you on about, buddy? <laughs> no, me. I mean it's honest <laughs> facts. Joking. I mean you could go ahead and look at the search results and stuff like that. It, the community yeah. is getting smaller and smaller You're because just not it on is. the search results. No, I'm no, I'm that's not really more as if it's. I'm just saying like. The, it, it's definitely decreasing. If you haven't looked at it, it's He's been right. decreasing. And all right, I mean, for those who say it wasn't slowing down, hold on a second. Give me a second. I got this. I got some facts here. I do got some facts. Let's but go. James pulling up social. Blame. When the month GTA came <laughs> out, it got 30 million searches for the term GTA 5 on YouTube. That's September. This past month, it only got 4 million. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing, though. I mean. It's it's because the game's becoming very commonly played that not many or m no many, maybe that statistic is wrong, maybe they're searching up money Teddy, glitch now rather than GTA Teddy, itself. That's a it's good point. It's directly from well, okay, GTA Five is the most widely searched term. It's from Google AdWords and imagine yeah, how many sub searches have this. been opened hold since up, then. Though. Imagine how many once sub searches. Once the game comes out, it's a wide search range. Like it's huge. There's so many things that can be searched because they don't really know what's in the game. Now the searches are very specific, and they know exactly what they're going to be searching. Good point, for. Cody. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. I, I mean, I, I do think, think GTA, it, but it's still slowing down. No GTA lie. has slowed down. It, I mean, that's that's a yeah. fact. But I think it's going to live on for a very long time. Now, the question I want to ask you guys is this: um, Do you believe Red Dead Redemption can be on the same level as a GTA Five? Personally, I didn't. Let's go. Personally, I. <laughs> okay. Personally, I didn't enjoy Red Dead Redemption as much as I enjoyed GTA 4, just because I felt like Red Dead was. I don't know. In GTA 4, like if you wanted to go somewhere super fast, you'd use um, you'd use like a helicopter or something, or like you had automatic weapons. And Red Dead, I felt like it was kind of restricted because like it was just horses. I felt like it was like almost GTA 4 with a very old school skin, and while that, that game is still kind of fun, I really did enjoy it too. I don't know, I like the more modern feel with all different types of cars and guns, and I don't know. That's just my opinion though. Anyone else um, want to chime in? Yeah, definitely with James' point though, it's like, with GTA 5 you have so many forms of mobility. <laughs> uh, okay, I think I'll... I think his dad's beating him up. Anyway, I'll continue. I mean, uh, the, hey, thing James, Red you... Dead, the thing about Red Dead Redemption is it is a good game. But what I feel is you spend more time traveling than you do actually doing the missions. Sitting on a horse. Yes. Imagine like what John Marston's butts like after all that horse travel. Yeah, yeah. I apologize for that that's interruption. That's awesome though. Yeah. That's the great thing apart. That's the great thing that's about 
Red Dead. ambushed by a bear. And by the way, guys, I know it's not going to be called Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm just saying that because that's what most of the people call it. It's not going to be Red Dead yeah, Redemption Yeah, that's like 2. the most commonly figured yeah, it's, it's going to be technically re the second Red Dead Redemption. It could be. Who knows? The whole aspect of Red Dead is um, you can go hunting as like right. kind of a side mission. It's not really a side mission, but you can just randomly step away from missions and go hunting. I love the whole hunting aspect. It's a game within a game, pretty much. friends as well, because the whole thing with hunting on Red Dead as well is you, you kind of... Um, the more you do it, the better the, the um, animals that are going to be there. It's kind of weird to explain, but it, it's just, it really is good. Have unicorns and shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The next question I want to ask you guys is this. When do you believe the High Life DLC is going to come out? Tuesday. Probably very soon, very soon. I mean, the whole High Life is... Probably it was to today, wasn't it, Dom, since it's 420? See, that's I why for I, I mean, I yeah. never made that video, but... Some people made a video saying that the High Life DLC was going to come out. I, I mean, yeah. if, if you put two and two together, like High Life, of course. Yeah, I don't blame people for, for making that video. Uh, but the whole thing, though, is when has Rockstar released a DLC on a Sunday? On Sunday. Though? Exactly. Right. It typically is on a Tuesday or a Monday or... Standard. It's always Tuesday. Yeah, right. exactly. The thing. I, made, so. I made a video on that, and I explained, obviously, you have 420, which is April the 20th. And Easter as well. And Easter as well. On, like, I, on like something like Easter, you would expect DLC regardless, some kind of DLC. Mm. So the way I put it was, you know, it's obviously 420, which yeah. means everybody gets high, and the DLC is called the High Life. Um, <laughs> exactly. On top of that, you have Easter weekend. That's like three hints already pointing towards it. But obviously, the huge downside is it's a Sunday, and there was kind of no way DLC was going to come out on a Sunday. Yeah, um, I mean we could I definitely. I guess I think Tuesday, it. this Tuesday I believe, or next Tuesday maybe. What if uh, what if Rockstar did a Snoop Dogg voice pack like Call of Duty? <laughs> uh, then oh, I'd probably so I would five. probably not buy it. And all, my all my game. homies play the game, you know, four to five <laughs> rappers we play that. I was gonna <laughs> say they should do a Granty uh, voice pack. <laughs> Hi guys, Granty. I love you, Granty. Shout out to Granty. Shout Boy, out to the official, know. unofficial Granty. All right. Um, the next question Give I want to ask you guys is this. Should all vehicles be stored in your garage? Should we be able to do that? Maybe not all. Not all of them. Maybe no, no, no. not all. Definitely. They, nah. They are you going to get room GTA to maneuver online with an HP wiper? As a free, open place to be creative and like, you can't do anything with police cars. I don't get why. Yeah, I don't get like, that. Like, utility well. vehicles, mm, you can't damn. customize them. Like, I don't get it. it. Here's the thing as well, why did they not add every single single player car into online already? Why? It, they are literally forcing people, I won't say forcing people, but obviously people want sing, people want unique cars, and I guess in online single player cars that can't be brought into online, a class is unique. So everyone is kind of forced to glitch them in. That but, is um, true. Why hasn't Rockstar yeah, actually HB added them already? Cutter, my HP White Cutter video is about to hit a million views on that thing. <laughs> He's saying though, I don't, I don't really know why. That is true. They are forcing people to do glitches to get these cars from single player. Why not just come out with some single player car DLC? Lays. Yeah. Why not? Lays. Mm -hmm. Lays. That'd be yeah. sick. All right. Not the chips though. Would anyone else like to add anything to that? Any cars that you believe uh, we should have online that are, you know, offline only? We, we need more non-human vehicles like i mean we like it, if that makes any sense like the space doctor what? we definitely yeah like oh, all right, right let me let me like define what i mean by a non-human vehicle like unicorn. the space doctor <laughs> not, not, not a unicorn but a we definitely wars? need some sort of like i mean we do you know, want a like, titan suit in, elephant no, no but not not animals i'm talking giraffe? about like yeah definitely a giraffe dom <laughs> definitely a giraffe that's exactly yeah, what i'm bear. talking about no but i'm talking more about like Definitely, like, we, we've established, like, Rockstar has definitely established that we have, like, aliens in the game. Like, they've hinted it so many times. We have the space right. docker. We have the, the UFO hovering above uh, Fort Zancudo and Mount Chiliad. But we, we only have the space docker. And, and definitely Sandy get some sort of, definitely some sort of extra t uh, terrestrial, some sort of, like, a alien decked out car would be the coolest thing in the ever uh, in the world, dude. Like, I, I don't know exactly how to, uh, like, explain it, but, I mean, if you think about it, have some, like, armored out like supercar that you could drive and I don't know maybe like a hover car that it just sick. like definitely that would be something Makes you that throw the jetpack in there as well yeah exactly I can see that happening though I think Rockstar may eventually release some kind of alien pack where it's just a few alien cars maybe an alien mask <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, mean, like I, I just said, can't well, picture. I can't uh, picture like cars. It, it, flying I mean, around. it's far fetched, but I mean, no. I mean, more as if like not cars like flying around. Like, I mean, that would definitely take it a little bit overboard. But simply like a <laughs> like, have you ever seen um the TV show Agents of Shield? Uh, the guy Coulson, he's like the leader. 
Um, basically, he has like this uh, red car, like an old Corvette kind of style car, and it's actually a hover car. And I do think he can fly in it. Um, nonetheless, though, if it can only like hover, let's say four to five feet, like a regular car off the ground, um, that would definitely be some sort of realistic part to it. Reminds me of a car from Simpsons Hit and Run. There's some really nice cars <laughs> in that game. <laughs> before we continue, uh, Don, before you ask the next question, I want to ask kind of a question. Does anyone think that um, Rockstar are going to add in any new maps like Vice City or anything like that eventually down nope. the line? Yeah, Maybe. That kind Online. of Possible. opens a new question no. in itself, like this GTA Online being a beta for the actual GTA Online. It's probably the biggest question. Here's, here's my take on it. GTA Online is called GTA Online and not GTA 5 Online. Um, that's kind of weird in itself. And uh, there was another article about it. I think I did a video on this. And um, the, I think it's the head of Rockstar North basically said that he wanted to create a world where players could travel to and from every single one of their favorite maps. Obviously, they would have to fly there, but I mean, if the head of Rockstar North wants that to happen, and he also stated that GTA Online is just the beginning, is the beginning of that, basically, so I don't know, I can see it, that happening. It's a big possibility, yeah, I mean, I can yeah. see where you're coming from. I don't know, I, I don't see it happening. I hope it happens. Maybe I mean, in, single in, player. in a few years' time, I mean, there's probably going to be something, because Rockstar is known for taking their times with their game and, you know, definitely developing more into it rather than Call of Duty, who just switches off every single year and... All right, so the last question that I want to ask you guys is, do you believe that modders do good for GTA, or do you think they do harm to GTA? Um, modders do a lot of good um, in the sense that they bring out some of these cool, cool, cool mods, like we were just talking about before, how um, we wanted the pets and stuff like that. They can bring out like pet shark mods. I saw that mod today. That was kind of cool. They bring out the underwater world. Um, they bring out the aliens ones, the zombies ones. There's just a lot of just variation, the crazy amount of stuff they can do, especially guys like Trevcraft, who are just really, really talented, and they just know their stuff, and they're just doing these amazing type of things. And it kind of acts as, like, a little bit of a DLC for people that know how to use them and are able to use them, and they're able to expand their gaming experience. But beyond that, the people that do the DNS stuff, and they're still doing these, like, money lobbies where they're duplicating heaps of money and ruining the game and delaying our DLC... They're not good. So the majority, right. I would say, are good. Then there's a few bad eggs, and they should be just executed. <laughs> Exiled. Uh, no Vera. Yeah, I mean, definitely, let's branch off of what Cody said. I definitely 100% agree with you, Cody. Like, we have the DNS people. Well, I wouldn't say DNS people, but we could use that term as a classification for the people who are modding the money and stuff like that. And the whole thing with that, though, is that they really do not do that much. I mean... Like, I've seen a few people claiming that they have DNS codes in the past recent month or so, um, and that's just a total bunch of, you know what. Uh, nonetheless, though, there are people who can actually mod money into the game. I think it takes around, like, five to six seconds to actually get them banned, though. So, there's really not that many people who are actually destroying the game with these money mods, but, of course, it it's sort of like a, like a poison. It will come back, and, you know, it'll hit back hard. Um, so there are those types of people and those are the bad people, but there are the good people um, Such as I guess we all know who RSHFX and ECB who they have like the skins and they'll like um, They'll do some sort of cool thing like uh, we had the uh, the dog skin where it was like a husky instead of regular chop uh, We also have the superhero skin and a few others such as the uh, the car wheelie mod I uploaded it to my channel. I don't know if you guys saw that or not um, Ooh, I have a good one the Dom is live TV skin <laughs> so a big TV walking around. <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. Uh, Declan, would you like to add anything? Uh, I guess not really. I think that's already been covered. Um, um, I'd like to uh, add something, actually. There you go. Well, okay, I'll, I'll wait till the end of the video to add it. It's kind of uh, a surprise. I guess the last thing I'll add, actually, is the whole aspect now. I don't think there's really that many bad modders out there now. I think the majority have been clamped down. And I don't think modded libraries are going to come back. Anytime soon, I just don't. It, it's yeah, uh, maybe not anytime soon, but it's it, it's been a repeat for the past a, a, almost every single game. You, you like, it, it'll come back. It comes back and it comes back hard. Exactly. I don't know what Call of Duty is like, but I don't, I don't know. I guess, but at, at this point in time, there isn't really too many bad modders out there. It's many good, and uh, the good mods I I personally love. Yeah, course. exactly. You like know, the it, yeah, hands is the game a lot. It, you know, it's like PC mods, for instance. PC mods. I mean, they're still. You know, being used today on GTA mods, though, 4. So I mean, the, the thing with mods though is that it's almost sort of like a like a, a personal DLC though, because like of course Rockstar can't constantly spend their time doing like these skins, such as you know how Call of Duty has. They come out like every like 
I feel like at least every mm -hmm. month with like the like the reskins on the guns and like um reticles on their sites and stuff like that. The thing with GTA five though is they can't yeah. really be bothered spending their time with like petty stuff like that. So for these personal mods to come, such as the Bigfoot reskin mod, um the dog mod, it's kinda like our own little tiny little DLC that really doesn't harm anyone. It only enhances the game for the people who are interested in seeing it. And that's my perspective on that. I like the way Novera said personal because like he said it doesn't it, it it kind of in a way enhances your own GTA online experience rather than ruining it ruining it for someone else.